Hi everyone, it's Jeff from Mitoso Crafts. Thank you for joining me today and welcome to our channel. Today I'm hopping along with the Stamp Around UK design theme with the theme of embossing. So any type of embossing will be featured on our video tutorials. So check out the description below for more card making and paper crafts with embossing techniques. So for today's video, I'm actually gonna showcase the black ice technique, which we haven't done before. So um, I've used different stamp sets as well as embossing folder to see what cards I can create with the black ice technique. So the samples that I've already created um, are these, all of which are on silver foil car uh, card. So this one using the Forever Fern stamp set, I've used that design as well as that one. And the sentiment is from the well-written dies. The gold is the Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series paper. So it's already pre-cut, so it's laser cut, which is great. And the black ice technique does add a lovely texture to the foil. So the next one, I wanted a different card base rather than like your black or grays that I've seen people have used before. So this one is using the Forever Blossoms stamping in stays on and the dies is actually from the uh, coordinating dies, the Cherry Blossom dies. So just adding a few um, flowers on the card front and again the sentiment from well written dies there. And then the final one that I, I've already done is this one using the snowflake wishes and the winter snow embossing folder. This one is actually the deboss side of the foil so you can see the this side a little bit better and it um, just hits the outline of the snowflakes. So that one was with again with the winter snow embossing folder, snowflake wishes bundle with the so many snowflakes dies and this one is from the August to December 2020 mini catalog by Stampin' Up. So for today's demonstration of the black ice technique I'll be using the red and green foil as well as the silver foil sheets and the stamp sets Forever Fern, Snowflake Wishes, and Poinsettia Petals. Before I start I'm gonna emboss the silver with the winter snow embossing folder and the suki. So here's the embossing folder, winter snow, and that's the design. So with the logo, the Stampin' Up logo on top, that's how you would know how to align your foil sheet on top because I'll be using the embossed design this time. So I want the foil side up and with the Stampin' Up cut and emboss machine, you'll need the base plate number one and your cutting plates number three. So one on the bottom and one on top. And that's just gonna go through the embossing machine. And here's how it embosses. So lovely design with all of the snowflakes. And as you can see, it does deboss on the other side as well. But as with the previous sample, if you do put it the other way around, it still works fine with the black ice technique. Now that the silver foil is embossed, we can start the black ice technique with the red and green foil sheets as well. So for this, you'll need stays on, Bursa mark, clear stamping embossed powder, and your heat tool. I would also suggest having the stays on cleaner and a chamois. Okay, so we are gonna be swiping on the foil sheet and this time I'm gonna do it from top to bottom. So a tip if you don't want any inky fingers, use the lid to hold it or a sticky note. So we're going to 
put a bit of pressure and swiping down from one side to the other side like so and if you want more darker edges you can just go over it again and once that's done I'm just gonna change hands there we go turn it over and then you can do the same So whilst that's drying, I'm going to carry on with the green and then the silver. So again, the same, just holding, holding the pad at a slight angle and going down across, change over all the way down. Turn it over. And then swipe the stays on across the foil. That's done. And then we have the embossed silver foil. So this one with the embossed image, it will pick up a bit more of the stays on but it's the same process so you're just gonna swipe down from one end to the other change over and then do the same turn over and then do do it again the same direction so that one is done and because that's already got a design on the foil I'm gonna leave that to dry um, if you are doing one at a time obviously you heat use your heat tool to get it drier quicker um, so I'm going to stamp the design on the red and green again with the stays on. So for the red, I'm going to use the poinsettia design. So I'm going to use this. It is photopolymer. So um, that's why I mentioned about the stays on cleaner. So just make sure that you clean it thoroughly after use and uh, wash it under soapy water as well. If you really want to be um, make sure that all of the ink has gone. So I'm just inking up the stamp and then randomly stamping on the foil. So because it is a shiny sur surface, just be careful that you don't smudge or like add too much pressure for it to move around so it does create a lovely stamp image with photopolymer as well so again i'm just gonna fill this up with the poinsettia design if you are enjoying yourself don't forget to hit that like button and do consider subscribing to our channel for more card making and paper craft inspiration using stampin up products so that is now filled in so you can see that i've added a bit more pressure on that stamped image so it is slightly thicker than the first one so whilst we're here i'm gonna add the stays on cleaner onto my photopolymer stamp and use the chamois so the next one i'm gonna use the forever fern stamp for the green and again, I'm just gonna, it's easier to swipe the stamp first thing so then you know that it's covered in ink. And then again, just randomly stamping 
the image around the border. Before we move on to the Versamark, I'm just gonna quickly use my heat tool just to make sure that everything is dry. So once that's dry, just re-flatten your foils if you need to. And then we're gonna do the same with the Versamark. So we're basically just swiping across within the same direction as how we did the stays on. And I'm gonna be using again the lid just to help me hold that down. So swiping it down again at, at an angle, but don't press it too hard because you would want the streak to be on there as well. So if you want more, just add a bit more, but you can't see it, but hopefully that's got some Versamark on it. And I'm just gonna do the same for the green foil. And then finally the silver. Now that's got the Versamark ink, we're gonna use the clear stamping emboss powder and sprinkle that all over. So just make sure you do have something to catch your embossing powder and just sprinkle that on top, turn it over, tap any excess, and then do the same for the other side. So I was actually, I'm quite surprised that there was Versamark ink on there because I wasn't, it didn't feel like I was putting too much pressure when I was swiping it. But as you can see, you do have that streak. This in this one, I did add a bit more pressure, so hopefully it'll still have the streak. So less pressure, more streak, I think, with this technique. And then finally, the embossed silver. Check out the description below for the product links where you can purchase from our online shop if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands. Don't forget to add a current host code when you do order from our online shop to get an extra handmade thank you from us. If you do order more than £45 before PNP, you will qualify for a free tutorial bundle designed by the Stamping Glam Squad. Cool, so now these have been embossed with a clear powder. We can crack on and create some cards with these. I'm gonna add layers underneath of each foil. And these are the foils I didn't even mention earlier are three inches by four and a half inches. As the foils do come in 12 by 12 sheets, it's just easier to work in inches. So I'm just adding that on and then this one as well. And I've also gone ahead and pre die cut most of the elements that I'll be using. So the mat for this is Knight of Navy and I've also got Cherry Cobbler, Seaside Spray and Early Espresso. So I'm gonna add Early Espresso up with the green but before I do that I do want to use die cuts from the Forever Flourishing dies underneath just to give it a bit more interest on the background on opposite ends and then add that in the middle. So that one is ready for the sentiment. Next one, Cherry Cobbler card base for the poinsettia. And this is actually great die set because it has got some embossing dies as well. So I cut it the outline first and then embossed it after. Again, we're just gonna add that to the background behind. And I'm just gonna shape this with my fingers, cut off any excess on the sides. Here we go, that one's done. For seaside spray, then we have the silver foil, add that on. But in this one, I want to stamp on the background. So I'll use Balmy Blue, and I'm gonna use the background stamp from Snowflake Wishes. So just a hint of stamping there and then we can add the foil. So my Knight of Navy actually moved. So I've got another Knight of Navy, the same size as the previous one, which is 3 one eighths of an inch by 4 and 5 eighths of an inch. I'm keeping the silver straight. And to finish up, I have stamped 
in Balmy Blue, again from Snowflake Wishes, and then Die Cut in Whisper White. So I'm just going to add that on to the middle and then onto the card front. So I'm going to head and white emboss the sentiment again from Snowflake Wishes, and I'm going to add that onto here. So I will need to cut a little bit off on each side to have a bit of the snowflakes on there and I'm just gonna add dimensionals and before I add that on I'm gonna use the baker's twine in flowers for every season ribbon combo pack the same as what I've done on the sample I'm just gonna create a bow and add that on in the center of the snowflake with mini glue dot and just manipulate the tails a little bit and then finally the adhesive back snowflakes and just randomly probably place more where you can see them so two on here and then one on the top here so that's one down we're gonna do the poinsettia so for this one we have the dye embossed poinsettia flower and I've pre-cut the sprays from poinsettia dyes and I do have the forever gold especially design series paper so just an element from there let's see where it is cut off the end so I'm gonna add these so to finish up I'm just gonna add the sentiment again with dimensionals so using the Merry Christmas sentiment from poinsettia petals white emboss as well the second one down and then finally the forever fern and i have more of the forever gold specialty design series paper and i'm gonna add that in the center so for the sentiment i'm gonna add basic black card measuring three quarters of an inch in height or 1.9 centimeters and i'm gonna add the thanks sentiment that one is in Whisper White and Smoky Slate. Offset that and then add it onto the black card. And then the Flowers for Every Season Gem. And we'll use the green. Just a couple of those. And that's the third card with the Black Ice Technique. And this one in Green Foil Sheet. So here's the three cards created with the Black Ice Technique. And here's some more from the samples I showed at the beginning of the video. And again, even more with the poinsettia petals and snowflake wishes stamp set. So this one was embossed the same as the demonstration for the video. And this one was embossed with a subtle folder design after stamping the poinsettia in stays on on the red foil so which one is your favorite was it one of the samples from these or these ones from the video let us know in the comments below don't forget to hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video and consider subscribing to our channel for more card making and paper craft inspirations with Stampin' Up! products. You'll find the next link for the Stamp Around UK hop in the description below as well as the product list I've used today available to purchase from my online shop. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time, bye!